Today's video has been sponsored by EveryPlate. All right, you guys win. I finally cracked. Here is your Smash Burger Taco episode. For those confused, if you're a little bit out of the loop, uh, these things have absolutely taken over all of food TikTok. Usually, it's just a standard burger that is smashed underneath a tortilla with the standard burger toppings. And most of them look pretty good. They definitely have that viral ability. And it's almost better that I waited a couple of weeks because the internet has done exactly what it does and allowed these things to take on a mind of their own. We are now seeing everything from a surf and turf smashed to taco to a Greek, a Japanese, everything you can think of pretty much. So today I've selected four of the best looking, most viral smash burger tacos, starting with the standard Big Mac style smash burger taco, then transferring over to a breakfast style version, following that up with a taco smash burger taco with traditional taco style toppings, and then finishing everything off with a Greek smash burger taco. We've got plenty of work cut out for us today, so let's get right into this one. For the most part, these all look equally delicious. Maybe the Greek one stands out a tad bit to me, but I love videos where I'm equally excited for everything. But before we get started with smashing our meats, I gotta give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, EveryPlate. Without question, EveryPlate is the best and most cost-effective meal kit around. Recently, grocery shopping has felt like a horror show, more often than not. I feel like I can't get out of there without spending over 100 bucks. So, at an average of 25% cheaper than grocery shopping, EveryPlate is the perfect alternative for your weekday family meals. As you can see, with EveryPlate, you will receive quality ingredients that are pre-portioned to save you time money and prevent food waste. Over the years, every plate has really become an institution in my house with how much of a time and money saving hack it is and how impossible it is to get bored with their 26 constantly changing delicious meals every single week. Don't forget, you can even customize each one of those meals to your liking. You can swap out veggies or the protein. So I cannot beg you guys enough to give every plate a try for yourselves. And when you click that link in the top line of the description and use my code davidseymour149, you will get your first box of every plate for just $1.49 per meal. And of course, Thank you so much to every plate for being such a great supporter of the channel. As I mentioned, first up today, we're gonna be testing out the classic Big Mac smash burger taco. I grabbed some ground beef and mayo, ketchup, mustard, and gherkins, flour tortillas and iceberg lettuce, American cheese, yellow onions, some sugar, and salt and pepper. Now, based on some of your comments and some of the DMs on Instagram I've gotten recently, a lot of you are confused why I didn't hop on this trend way earlier. It does seem like something that would be right up my alley. This was one of those that I kind of knew in the back of my head I was going to get to eventually, but it wasn't anywhere near the top of my list because it's just a burger in a tortilla. The whole process of using the tortilla to help you smash it and having it kind of fuse together with the burger just seemed kind of gratuitous, like just make the burger, throw it all on there afterwards. But then that got even worse because people just completely missed the point of a smash burger and started smearing the raw meat on the tortilla with their bare hands, obviously then resulting in very gray meat oftentimes. So I just wasn't very excited about this idea at first, but over time it has grown on me, especially some of the other concoctions we're gonna be testing out. And I like that we're starting with one with just classic standard burger ingredients from your shredded up lettuce, the pickles, the diced onion, some homemade Big Mac sauce, a slice of American cheese. This is all very expected. I was able to get a really nice Maillardi crust on the burger patty, a nice toasting on the tortillas. And when topped with everything else, I'd be lying if I said they didn't look great and super appetizing. So let's give these ones a taste. I just got done jump scaring my Instagram followers with the middle part. It's been a while since I Big Macified anything. I think the last one was actually the Twisted uh, Beef Wellington Big Mac, which was probably 10 years ago now. I'm even afraid to look. This is delicious. It tastes nearly identical to a Big Mac. I think that's primarily the sauce, maybe the white onions. And we all knew this was gonna be good. I mean, it's just burger ingredients in a taco. That's not the reason I was avoiding this. I knew they would all be good. I'm not sure how this didn't occur to me until right now, but I think the reason these are so good and they've gained such traction is because when you flip them and you start getting the toast on the tortilla, it just sucks up all that beef fat. That not only aids in the toasting process, but adds a whole lot more flavor. I think it's probably the best part of these. Nine out of 10 on these guys. Very, very good, but let's keep it moving. 
Next up today, we've got the breakfast smash burger taco, which I'm now realizing it probably should have done first, but it's too late now, so I grabbed some crystal hot sauce and green Tabasco, ground sausage meat and flour tortillas, pepper jack cheese, salt and pepper, butter and egg, and fresh green onions. And immediately after, I just went on a whole tangent about people smearing the meat onto the tortilla. This is one of those videos, unfortunately. But in the spirit of this video, I will be smashing this one and all the other recipes for this video because I still feel like that's more than half of the point. It doesn't matter how evenly you spread it or how much meat you use, you're not gonna get that really hard, crusty sear unless you smash it. So I just prepped up my green onions, I plopped down some sausage, the tortilla, and then the egg and some cheese, let everything cook up, get nice and crispy, just barely being able to successfully flip this egg on my cast iron pan. That was a bit of an oversight. I probably should have used a different pan for this version, but it barely worked. And then I just combined everything together with a topping of my crystal, the green Tabasco, and a sprinkling of the green onions. No matter how these all come out today, at least they're all very quick. It's not like you have to invest a whole lot of time or effort into them. But I'm willing to bet, even if these took twice as long, they'd still be worth it because look at this damn thing. This one got a little messy. It's oozing quite a bit, but I don't mind it. Mmm. Now this one, I am on board with. The last one was good too, but this is like the greatest breakfast burrito you've ever had in a taco form. I love how juicy and crispy it is. I love how every single bite has a little bit of everything. Mm. You can use the extra egg yolk and hot sauce as your little dipping sauce. Wow, is this good. 10 out of 10, I will be making more of those. Third today is kind of the most no-brainer of all the options. It is the literal taco version of the Smash Burger Taco. And for that, you will need some paprika and garlic powder, salsa and chili powder, ground beef, iceberg lettuce and cheddar cheese, sour cream, salt and pepper and tortillas, some cumin, a fresh jalapeno, avocados, a lime, yellow and red onions, and some fresh cilantro now. I say it's the most no-brainer because when I first heard a smash burger taco, this is kind of what I imagined. First and foremost, it being a taco with the tortilla, all the traditional taco toppings such as a homemade guacamole that is chipotle inspired, for those of you curious. That's gonna have lots of chopped up red onions, jalapeno, lots of lime juice, and all that good stuff. But also the things that you think of when you hear a taco, the salsas of the world, maybe a diced up onion or tomato. I'm gonna refrain from going off on tomatoes this time around. I'm gonna try to dice them up so small that I barely know that they're in there. Plus, the punchy intensity of all the other stuff that's getting jammed into this thing should overwhelm the tomato from the jalapenos, all that fresh cilantro, and all that stuff I've just mentioned is gonna get layered on top of a smashed beef patty that's been loaded up with seasonings and onions and herbs of its own. You guys should know that I usually never like to do this for a multitude of reasons. When you're trying to evenly mix all that stuff into the meat, you do run the risk of overmixing it and kind of emulsifying it into a sausage. I feel like a nice sprinkling of whatever kind of seasonings you want right on the already smashed patty is more than enough. And right on cue, Mr. Burger Expert absolutely botched uh, the first one when I was trying to smash it. That's why you shouldn't be using such a pointy wooden spoon. Damn it. This is also by far the worst job I have done centering the patty and getting it nice and evenly flat, but I think it's passable. And I absolutely drowned these things anyway in all that sour cream and lettuce, onions, the salsa, the guac. You for sure won't be finding anything like this at your local Taco Bell. So let's give our third Smash Burger Taco a try. It almost works out that I miss the middle with the beef patty every time, uh, cause then you can see it on one side. It's much more poppy. Let's pretend that was planned all along. Again, this is very good. I would eat it any day. I feel like a robot saying that with every one of these, but it really is. It's the perfect combo of fatty and rich with the beef and then the fresh, really bright aromatics on top. It just kind of takes over your entire mouth and nose. It's really overwhelmingly good. I guess my mind has kind of been changed on these. This is a really good concept, especially when it's employed in ways like this. You can't really go wrong, and I'm very excited to see what the last one has to offer. And lastly on the slate today is probably the underdog. It went the least viral, it's been sent to me the fewest times, but it still looks incredible and it is the Greek Smashburger Taco. I grabbed some olive oil and pita bread, 
ground lamb and plain yogurt, feta cheese and a red onion, some tomatoes, a lemon, salt and pepper, garlic, fresh dill, and a few Kirby cucumbers that I totally didn't just run over to my boyfriend's jungle of a garden and steal in the middle of the night while he was away. And because he never watches my videos anyway, unless he's in them, he'll never know. I got started with this one by prepping up all my fresh ingredients from those cucumbers and the dill, the tomatoes, everything I was gonna need for the homemade tzatziki sauce. And first, I should have said this way earlier, if you missed last week's video, this is not some kind of bacterial growth on my cutting board. Um, it is because I put a hot pizza steel on the damn thing and it basically cooked it. I've tried to buff it out. I'm probably gonna have to buy a new one, but I didn't get around to doing it this week. It's a little bit scary, actually, when I'm cooking for so many hours in a row and I kind of turn my brain off and I get in this trance and I don't think things through. It's probably why I slice to tip my finger off on a mandolin, or almost lit my apartment building on fire, or in this case, almost used my cutting board as a ignition source. But like I said, we have to whip up a homemade tzatziki for this one. This is gonna be absolutely loaded with fresh garlic, the fresh dill, lots of lemon juice. This thing should be super tasty. And then once again, we are seasoning up the meat mixture. I'm a little bit more okay with it this time because it's already a vacuum sealed ground lamb, which wasn't gonna behave like ground beef anyway. And who cares if it ends up a little bit more like a bouncy sausage when you bite into it. That's kind of what a gyro elicits anyway. And then that's it. It gets topped with plenty of the tzatziki, the tomato, cucumber, feta, and dill. I'm beginning to feel a little bit like my dog when I'm preparing her dinner and she can't help but drooling all over the floor. And with that, finally, we can take a bite of this thing and try our final Smashburger taco. Okay, I've changed my mind. This is the one I'm most excited for. Damn kids. Holy shit. This thing, what you see in front of you, is phenomenal. It is bursting with flavor. I think I said a few weeks ago how obsessed I've been with Greek food recently, and this is right up my alley, what I've been craving the last couple of weeks. Greek food is just so good. It's so underrated. For me, it's creeping up there with Italian food. It's just so fresh while also still being so flavorful. That tzatziki is bomb. I love feta cheese and a good toasted pita. Favorite one on the day, easily. It's not particularly close. Could you argue that this is just a gyro instead of a smash burger, maybe? I don't really care though, because this is so damn good. Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision.